Welcome to the Glitter Salt Turbo Tanned World of Freestyle Dance. Fashioned from the ashes of disco on the street corners of LA and New York over 40 years ago, Freestyle has a new spiritual home in Scotland. When you start dancing, you don't really think about anything. You just go for it. Up and down the nation, kids as young as three spin, jump and pout their way to glory. But behind all the sequins and smiles is a world of discipline. Girls just look slow. My granny could go faster. Dedication. I'm going to get to the final and I'm not saying no, I'm saying yeah. And drama. You've been lazy about it, get it up, I'm not kidding on. We boys should be playing football. They don't do dancing. In this series, we'll follow some of the Scottish disco divas doing battle on the dance floor. These are the faces we do to the judges on the dance floor. Are you ready? Go! Meet best friends. 13-year-old Ashton. I'm Travis. 14-year-old <laughs> Lucy. Lucy's a teacher's pet. <laughs> and nine-year-old Sophie. Sophie is Sophie's the hardest the worker. Hardest worker yeah. <laughs> Partners in freestyle crime. <laughs> since 2013. I met Ashton the first day I went to dancing and she's been my pal ever since. I'm probably Ashton. the biggest diva. Definitely is the biggest diva. It's Sophie is second diva and Lucy is third diva. I'm the boss. Uh, no, it's no. I'm the boss. Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> Ashton bonded with Lucy and her little sister Sophie through a shared love for the glitzy sport. I personally just love it. Cause you can, I don't know, like you can just be free. <laughs> Like when you go on the floor, you don't have to be like this wee shy person. You can just burst out your personality everywhere all over the floor and show everybody what you can do and it's your 40 seconds of fame. The thing I love about freestyle is you get to like be with your friends. Responsible for keeping this band of divas in check. Push that knee out, Sophie. Is teacher Amy. Hands up, up, up. Owner of the A Team Dance School in Springburn in Glasgow. Come on. Ashton, Sophie, and Lucy, they've been here from the beginning. When I opened the school, the three of them started out and they're still here together. Not in front of your face so you can't see your pretty face. Just under. Go. Click. Good. Right, like. Amy is like, she's fun but she's moany sometimes and annoying. <laughs> she's going to kill us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right girls, when you are at the side, you don't ever just sit there so don't do it. Up. Hurry up. Who sometimes slacks in the dance class? Ashton. Me. Ashton. Ashton slack. I get slack. I, I get slack. I get in trouble for uh, slacking. slacking all the time. Come on. Up. Three, two, one, go. This weekend, all three girls will compete at the Scottish Championships in Drumchapel. Head, head, stop. Head, head, head. I told you, you look that dolly person no using your head. For Ashton, this will be her first shot in under 14 champs for her solo dance. Right, Ashton's got lots of confidence off the floor, but on the floor I wouldn't say that she gives it as much as she does off the floor. Look, hold. Where should you be looking on your way off? Judging. Do it then. It's trying to make her kind of know that like she's up there with the best in the kind of business, there's no room for slacking. Look at them! Don't 
Go and take your eyes off them. I think she's excited because she is in champs. It's a nice thing to say, but I've told her, like, don't just go out and expect because the standard is very high. Straight up. Don't take a tea break. Like that. That's you. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and party. <laughs> Right, let's go. 40 miles away in Greenock, live another freestyle family. One, two, three, woo! Ten-year-old twins, Brooke and Taylor, inherited the dancing gene from Mum, Charlene. You can smile, you know. You can smile. I think obviously I've done dancing and having like two little girls, it's the, uh, that's what you would, you would put them into with their cute wee outfits, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow, what's that? Is that a big camera? You wave? <laughs> <laughs> and little brother Care. And the lift your legs up. Is also a freestyler in the making. Right, not too much. Not too much. <laughs> You're cheeky. Can you do the splits? <gasps> One, two, three. Yay! Yay! Right down. The girls are always together. They sleep in the same bed. They're in class together. They're dancing together. Don't think they realise how lucky they are. Having a best friend, same age, going through the same things. But being twins on the freestyle scene isn't without its problems. When I was getting a costume made, I asked for them to be similar, but it was kind of working against them in some comps we were going to. It was as if you could see them marking one, and at the end you would see the judges kind of looking and going, oh, there's, there's two of them. Like, if we're wearing, like, the same costume, it's like, they'll see, like, is that the same one or is that the different one? Uh -huh, so it's like, it's most likely similar. if one gets in and one doesn't, because they think it's one of the same. And having freestyle twins isn't easy on the wallet either. It's even like your comps, you're paying in for the girls, you're paying in for yourself, their costumes. A freestyle costume can cost anywhere from around £30 up to £3,000. Competition tickets, £15 to £30 per person. And dance lessons, around £10 a pop. And with twins, make that double. It does start amounting up to a lot of money. Feet together, thumbs touching, armpits on the wall. Hurry up, go, go, go. Luckily for Charlene, this year, both twins won a scholarship at the Point Perfect Dance School in Greenock. Uh, come on. Arms in at your ears, push. Run by former freestyle champ Lauren, the Dance Skill Scholarship is awarded to dancers showing the most dedication. Push, push. Hands off, lengthen, pull up your knees. It covers one year's fees and weekly private lessons. Lift up, up, up. I never thought for a minute that one of my girls would, would win a scholarship, never mind the fact that two of them did. Up, 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 up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It was very emotional um, and they're very, very lucky. Squeeze, 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 squeeze here, squeeze here. If it wasn't for the scholarship, then I wouldn't be able to afford to go to all these other competitions. The twins are about to move up an age group, and that means one big change. Under 12s yeah. means that girls wear tan and makeup, so the girls are going to love it, but more so I'm probably going to hate it because <laughs> it'll be me applying the fake tan and doing the makeup. I don't even get time to do it for myself, never mind doing it twice over for them. But for dance teacher Lauren, makeup means a golden opportunity. I'm hoping that with them moving up and we can now do tan and makeup, that they'll look different. So we're going to try and disguise the fact that they're twins. They'll maybe have a brunette twin and a blonde twin and see how it works out. But they're very excited mm -hmm. to put makeup on. 
It can make you look a bit different. You can make makeup different. Uh -huh. which one? Well, it could be different. And then it makes it stand out and if different people's got like different makeup and the other different, and it's going to like all different. So. Mm -hmm. All different. Yeah, all different. <laughs> In Balarnock in North Glasgow. I'll let you use mine at the club tomorrow, right? Thanks. Best pals Ashton, Sophie and Lucy are helping each other get ready for tomorrow's comp. It's like a bronzer, but really, really like shiny. And it makes your body all like glittery and shimmery. Your back's so long. <laughs> This weekend's competition is one of many the three girls have attended with their mums. Whose mum <laughs> is the biggest dance mum? Our mum's the biggest dance mum, I think, out of all three of us. My mum never misses a competition. Like, she won't let us go to a competition without hers or nothing. Really? I don't know. I'm not a crazy dance mum. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh, no. I describe myself as a pure, I don't know, I love it, I absolutely love the cops. Like, I, I got up and I cheer for every single kid. Love the, I love supporting them all. Because they're doing what they love, don't they, know? so. Could you imagine your kids and your family life without freestyle in it, do you think? Nah, it would be too boring. Be too boring. Helen is so enamoured with freestyle life, she keeps all the girls past costumes. This is the first starter one. Homemade. <laughs> she took third place in Diva with a suit. She looks so pretty in this one. Totey. Like, proper totey. She's got 18 of them, and most of them are all Lucy's. <laughs> this headpiece is quite heavy, because of the big parrot. She doesn't sell a costume because she said she wants to keep the memories. Like every single individual suit has a memory, has like a wee story behind it. Love it. Memories are more important than money. That's what she says. It's an expensive hobby that you could cash in. Yeah, I could cash in, but no. The kids think I'm crazy. <laughs> I come insane. This is the suit that Sophie was dancing in and she tripped over somebody's feet and she went Superman right across the flare and landed at her judge and looked up and went, ooh, cause her suit was snapped. Like that, that's gonna be a funny memory when she's older. In the girls' room, glitter rolling has been replaced by precision packing. What's in a freestyle dancer's bag of tricks then? You have your brushes, your bobbles, a bandage. We just need to check that everything's in our case, like our lipstick and our hair extensions and stuff. Just mm. make sure it's all there. Bed early. <laughs> Amy says we need to go to bed at nine o'clock before our competition. And are you gonna? Nope. Probably not. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, Amy's gonna see this. Dang it. No, she won't. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just blur that bit out. <laughs> the hitters. Tonight, Ashton may well need that beauty sleep, as tomorrow she'll compete for the first time as an under 14 champ for solo. Do you have a secret weapon? No, I don't have a secret weapon. Do you, need, do you not need one? No, I'm too good for a secret weapon. What do you think, Lucy? How do you think she'll...? I don't know. Mm. Just depends how many people are in it, I guess. You think I can't take on that many? Hmm? I think she'll play as far as <laughs> Now she's in champs, I put it into her, like, don't be expecting to win. You need to kind of earn that space in champs, you don't just walk into a new section and think, oh, I'm the winner. In Greenock, 
identical twins Brooke and Taylor are ready for their first full makeup trial with dance teacher Lauren. Now that Taylor and Brooke have turned 10, they're moving up in age group to under 12 so they can wear tan makeup um, so it makes them look a bit more mature and hopefully it's going to make them look a wee bit different from each other so that people can tell them apart and know that it's two different dancers. Hi guys, will we go through? Yes. Get ready, get organised. Mum's a bit reluctant for them to be different so we're taking baby steps to make them Taylor and Brooke and not Taylor and Brooke together so we'll, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Are you excited? Yes. Right, who's going first? Me. Right, okay, sit there. What colour is You're black again, aren't you? Obviously, they have the same face, they look alike, they're sisters, there's only so much we can do, but we're hoping to play with the colour schemes, so kind of match their colour schemes to their costumes, maybe have one a bit more dramatic and one a bit softer, so we'll see how it goes and then just kind of play with it from there. Right, so now we're going to go in with some colour. Right, we're going to keep you bright and like pinkies and purplies. Let's do you like darkers. Like what colour do you think? Maybe on this side. The purple? Let's go for the purple then. I remember their first ever class, uh, Charlene said to me, oh, you'll be able to tell them apart easily. Brooke has a freckle on her face. So I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be a really predominant freckle. No, it is the tiniest little freckle, like right in her eyebrow. Show me your freckle. That tiny, tiny, tiny wee freckle is how you tell the two of them apart. Obviously over the years I've known them, I can tell them apart straight away because I think they actually look totally different now. Like, and it's crazy as it is, I can tell them apart by their feet. They've got different feet. So Charlene's like, no you can't, and I'm like, no I can't. Is this your first time having your brows drawn on? Yeah. You're going to be like, oh, what's going on? you have such long eyelashes. I wish my eyelashes were still that long. Lips. How do you feel now? Well, it makes me feel older. Older? Yeah. I like it. And I feel older at the same time. And when the twins put on their different coloured costumes, the transformation will be complete. Is it that way? It goes, yeah. Perfect. I think you do look quite different now. The judges will definitely not have any bother tearing you apart at all now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. In North Glasgow, Hi. it's competition day for freestyle friends Ashton, Lucy and Sophie. This won't come off. The girls are at their dance teacher Amy's house, bright and early, getting dolled up for the dance floor. Amy doesn't let us do any makeup because she wants the makeup to be on point and perfect, and we can't do that clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I just go down my eyebrow. I'd have like highlighter away up here, <laughs> contoured here. <laughs> let me see. Is your tan green? My skin doesn't take to makeup and tan. Like my tan turns green all the time. Some like incredible Hulk dancing across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, she's not green yet, but it's still early. <laughs> one minute she's darker than me, and one minute she's just pure green. <laughs> Are you just hoping to get in the final today? Yeah. yeah. Amy's all about perfection. The judges, I always say to the kids, the judges are always looking for a jigsaw. Everything kind of pieces together. Your suit your hair, your makeup, your dancing, your floor presence, like, so if there's one part of the puzzle missing, then that could, like, do you out of your mark. Ashton will certainly need all pieces perfectly in place for her debut as an under-14 solo champ. I'm more excited than nervous, because I've been in champ before, but this is, like, a harder section. I think just my solo dance on, I'm quite nervous about. Oh, for goodness sake! 
Well, that's you. Ashton doesn't like normally try and show her nerves. She tries and acts as though she doesn't get nervous or this or that. But I know her too well, so I know when something's getting to her, and I can tell that she's nervous. Amy, hey, my house coat's wet. Disco Diva transformation complete. The girls are all set to strut their stuff at the Scottish Championships in Drumchapel. Let's go, Eddie! Let's go! Please don't pin my bum. I won't. First up is Ashton's solo dance. Ashton may be new to the champ section, but she's unfazed by the competition. They must have talent to be in the same section as me, but I'm obviously better. In what way? I just, I just am better. It's the best feeling to win a trophy, like any trophy, but when you win first, it's. Like, it's the amazing. best thing ever. Yeah, just to feel like, oh, I bet all of them. I do feel like I can be anything when I'm on the floor. So you can do whatever you want. You can be a diva if you want to. Ashton doesn't come last. But doesn't get the first place she was after either. I came second. And I'm not that happy about it. Because I was only against five people. So it's pretty rubbish. It was my first time in champ, but it doesn't doesn't matter. Maybe it was just me being too like big headed. With Ashton she she does always kinda what you win, like and I, I, I do try to kinda tell her that it's no I was about that and stressing to her the kids that she's up against are amazing. With Ashton licking her wounds, it's time for best friend Lucy to take to the floor. When the result doesn't go the way a kid would like it, within the school of the vault, they're always told to kind of stand in and support your, your school. Like, the kids are very, very good at doing that. Lucy smashes her first dance. Strutting her way into first place in her section. And with her little sister Sophie also shimmying her way to gold with her slow dance, Ashton has just one last shot at joining her friends in the winner's circle. Got slow dance next. I don't know how that'll go because I have danced in it before, so I don't know if it'll go a bit better than just getting second. Yeah, I do think that I have the most sass. Sometimes when you're standing right in front of a judge, they won't look at you, but other times when, like, they're looking right at you. You can just like. I'm very passionate about dancing. It's all I ever do. 
it's like your time to shine and your moment when you can do your very best and just show off as much as possible. One happier dancer, but were the judges dazzled enough to award her first place? Under 40 champ, first place losing a plain life. 41. championship today, so you're losing a plain life. And winner, 688. Well done. Well done. Well done. No, I don't feel like the judges do make the right decisions. Most of the time I get told, oh, you get robbed. Well done. Well done. So, how are you all feeling? I feel well done. And I Well, I got second and third. So. That, that says it all. Winning is really important because I feel like my mum's paid money for me to go there. Then it's just a waste of money. I think I dance quite good. But not to like float my own boat, but. I thought you danced really good as well. I thought you did good stuff. It's also a waste of time. Like, I got up early at my bed to go there. It's been like this is going to be a good company, and when I get there, it doesn't feel that good. When they don't get what they deserve or they don't get what they want, you just need to brush yourself down and go on with it. It's freestyle, and it is what happens. My slippers are going to fall. I hope we're still friends. Yeah. When we retire, I hope we're still friends. <laughs> I think a freestyle dancer has an opportunity to retire in their own time. Like, you can retire at 16, 20, 29, any time you want. Like, it's... Probably below 40. <laughs> below 40. <laughs> <laughs> That's really old, isn't it? Yeah. I'll still be dancing at 40. <laughs> 63 on the dance floor, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have grey hair. <laughs> Next time, we meet a determined dancing diva with tons of attitude. Sassy pouty chai. And Scotland's answer to Billy Elliot. Boys are better because they can jump higher and their speed is like incredible. We up the glam stakes next on BBC Scotland as we follow Scotland's model teenager and explore how he took the modelling world by storm. And don't forget, Jamie Genevieve, hashtag unfiltered, available now on BBC iPlayer.